Hey, Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, Lord, start me this truth. I want to give you peace and blessings to the I came across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth for us like to do. So it's going to be a quick video. Lord, when the video is edifying, Lord, when I can get something from this video. Um, this is Jeremiah 51. I want to do a quick correction. I had uh, broke down the scripture wrong. I want to say Salakia for that. Um, I mentioned that Jeremiah 51 and 6 was talking about get, get out of Babylon as far as your actions in your ways, which, yeah, get out of Babylon as far as your actions in your, way, in your ways. Don't conform to how Babylon is living as far as, you know, the simple things that they advertise and the going off and shit like that. You know, because what scriptures say what? That, you know, being friends with this world is enmity with the most high. Okay? So the the in the it's scriptures scriptures say what? The fashion of this world should pass away. So if the fashion of this world was righteous, would it pass away? No. Because once the kingdom is established, right, it's gonna be the fashion is gonna be that of righteousness. Right? It's gonna be because the Israelites are gonna be in power. Okay, and we're gonna um, govern the world using the law. You can read that in Isaiah the second chapter. Okay, um, you know, and I was kind of saying, so yeah, don't, yeah, don't, you know, spiritually, don't indulge in the wickedness of this place. But this right here, particularly Jeremiah fifty-one and six, is actually talking about the deliverance out of uh, Israel. Okay, and I had uh, just want to make a quick correction, and I grab a couple of precepts because we understand that. Um, the, the deliverance is going to be from the north country, which is America, which is a.k.a. Babylon, a.k.a. Sodom, a.k.a. Egypt, a.k.a. Basra, right? It's a, I say Basra because when you go to Isaiah 63 and 1, it tells you about Yahweh Shai coming from, you know, who's this that come from? Uh, matter of fact, I'll just grab it real quick. It says, who is this that cometh from Edom? With dyed garments from Basra, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. And if you want to read about the greatness of Yahweh Shai's strength, as far as what it's talking about, uh, I believe you go to Second Edges, the 13th chapter, and it talks about the power that Yahweh Shai is going to have when he comes back with the chariots and things of that nature. Okay? It says, I that speak in righteousness and mighty to save. So this is not talking about Basra over there in the Middle East. This is talking about today's Basra. Right, which is America, okay? Um, let me go back here. Where was I at, 51? Boom. Okay, it says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in their iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord Yahweh's vengeance. And he will and He will render unto her recompense. Babylon had been the golden cup in the Lord Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. It says Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. And how is Babylon going to be destroyed? By thermonuclear missiles. That's why when you go down to 11, it says make bright the arrows. Those arrows are talking about missiles, okay? And um, you can go to Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, and it goes into the same arrows. It says make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord Yahweh hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes for his devices against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. Okay? Um, so let me go down here really quick. And again, I am, uh, let me grab this really quick. Um, because I did mention that this place was going to be destroyed by way of fire. When you go to Brook 4, it says, um, um, Right here in 32, it says, Miserable are the cities which they, thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. That she is also talking about America. Okay, it says, For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure. And she shall be inhabited of great of devils for a great time. Okay. Um, and that, and when you go to uh 
Because after that fire, no man shall dwell here. Dwell here. Okay? No man is going to dwell here. When you go here, I believe it's in 17. Um, she carried away a uh, woman. The red, purple, scarlet. B sauce. I mean, it's something in there I could get, but I wanna, I'm looking for for a particular one. Yeah, 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 this is a Revelation 18 and seven. It says how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I said a queen and, and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh who judgeth her. Okay. I'm going to jump down to 10. It says, stand under far off for the fear of her torment, saying, alas, alas, that great city, that mighty city, for in one hour her judgment come. Because in one hour, this place is going to be destroyed by that fire. Okay. Now, let me get back into the deliverance um, really quick. I took some notes. Give me two seconds. Wait for this to load. Okay. Um, right here. This is a Jeremiah 23. Uh, let me get to the point, man. It says uh, Jeremiah 23. And I start at six. It says, "In his days shall, in his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely." And this is the name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness, right? Because when because when the Lord right comes back, right, it says what well, Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely, which means what? We're going to be out of captivity. Okay, which means what? We're currently still in captivity. <laughs> okay? Because this place hasn't been uh, been destroyed yet. Okay, it says, Therefore behold the days come is the seventh, said the Lord Yahweh, that they shall no more say the Lord Yahweh liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord Yahweh liveth, which brought up the up. It's like it. But the Lord Yahweh liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. That north country is talking about America. And from all the countries where I have driven them, because we're scattered what? Across the four corners of the earth. And they shall dwell in their own land, which our land is Jerusalem. Okay. So we're no longer going to talk about the deliverance from Egypt, which everybody knows that deliverance is the splitting, the parting of the Red Sea, right? Well, Moses led us about it there. Okay? Everybody knows about that. But this is going to be um, a deliverance that is going to be talked about more than that. Because the way the Lord is coming to get us from here is like no other. Like no other. Okay? Um, we get Jeremiah 3 and 18. It says, In those days, the house of Judah shall walk. With the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. Okay, so again, there you go the deliverance out of the land of the north, which is what America, aka Babylon, aka all these different spiritual names that I mentioned earlier in the video. Okay, and it's like, yeah, if I'm going too fast, I'm just trying to, um, you know, get right to the point, man. That news of Michael 4 and 10. It says, um, that's a lot of meat on here. Um, it says, Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in a field. Okay, and when you go into that, the field means the, the world. Okay, it says, um, and um, you could you you could prove that with the uh, wheat and the tear parable. Okay, it's ha it says, and thou shalt go even to Babylon, there shalt thou be delivered. Okay, so what? We were we were led into captivity here in Babylon. Okay, but guess what? This is the place where we're going to be delivered. Okay, it says there the Lord Yahweh shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. Okay, and our enemies what are the heathen? Okay, let me grab that. Really quick. Um, what was that? 84, 83. 
Psalms 53. It says, For lo, thine enemies make it to moat, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more remembrance. It says, For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, and it, and it names the heathen. Okay? Edom, Ishmaelites, Moab, it, it names the heathen. Okay? But what? They're confederate against us. They all had a hand in our captivity. Right? Why? Because we went off. We didn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments. The Lord gave us the law, statutes, and commandments to follow. We didn't do that. So what? We were led into captivity under our heathen. Now, does that mean the Lord care about the heathen? Does that mean the Lord? No, the Lord doesn't. Because when you go to, I'll go to it really quick. Um, where is it at? 6 and 56. Because a lot of people, well, you guys are racist. You guys are this. Of course, the Lord is racist. Okay? And I don't, I don't disagree with racism. I don't have any problem with racism. I, I think my people, which is the so-called black man, so-called Native American man, and so-called Mexican man, are the best people that walk, you know, face of the earth. Okay? I mean, what would the world be without Israelites? Okay? It's, you know? Second Ezra 6 and 56, it says, As for the other people which also come from Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Okay, but matter of fact, let me start up. It says, 54, it says, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, which the Lord chosen who? Israel. Okay, it says, I'm going to jump down. Well, I'll go to 55. It says, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Okay, it says, As for the other people, which are the heathen, which also come from Adam, Thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Okay, so the Lord cares nothing about the heathen. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I just want to correct myself on that. You know, the Lord is, you know, he's going to redeem Israel. He's going to redeem the elect from all four corners of the earth. But that main big deliverance that the scriptures go into is a deliverance from America, man. Okay, so Slaki and Kasai, uh, Slaki, um, you know, for that, for going off, Saya, for, you know, Slaki, for um, going off on that scripture. I just want to correct myself um, on that. Um, you know, Lord willing, you know, your brothers were edified, Lord willing, your brothers got some fun in this video. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Akadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing. On to the next, Shalom.